Hello guys, I hope you guys are all blessed this morning or afternoon or whatever it may be. I don't quite know. But what I am going to do after I do this collective reading is go, I got to go back to the nail shop, y'all. I straight up cracked my nail. Straight up cracked my nail. Where is my lighter? Okay, guys, we're going to get a collective reading and then we may get and then uh, I'm going to do a co collective reading and then I'm going to go on into cancer. Okay, I have. lost my items guys so you guys are gonna have to kind of excuse me okay so i hope you guys are all being blessed today we're casting out and casting down any Warlock, Sherlock, Holmes, um, um, any voodoo workers, any witchcraft workers, any rituals that they have done. We send them back to them with God before them. We call in the light, spiritual light come in. Everything that's unlike God be ye removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that would come to try to sabotage us or hinder us or keep us stagnated or stuck we send it back to them a thousand fold and everything that they meant for our 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 bad we send it back to them for their good in the mighty name of jesus so guys i hope you guys are all being blessed and getting along with your endeavors and your work and you're being prosperous and more abundant and we just wish and hope mighty mighty and many many blessings towards each and every last one of you guys so collective collective we've been dealing with these cards right here so Yes, I, I pray and I pray nothing but blessings, healing. If you're having any anxiety or if you're having any, they, they've been having dreams, it just fell out. Okay, so we're going to take that. They've been having dreams. So this person that you're connected with could have been having dreams or they are having dreams right now. They this keep falling out. They don't like you for no reason. And it's probably because you're you sit in your truth and you speak the truth. They have met a new person at a bar. So this could be a past person, new person, or people around you that's getting jiggy with it. They want to have sex with you. So someone wants to have sex with you as well collective hmm what is that it's best to stay single until you are healed so people people stay single until you're healed it's a lot of people that are healed and they have been working on their healing and they have been alone I will be going on five years. He don't like having sex with her, her vagina smell. So whoever this is, whoever their partner is, they don't like having sex with them. It's a Taurus. So that gives you kind of a hunch. Or this is a Taurus that vagina is smelling or 
This is uh, for a Capricorn wanted to come out. STD had wanted to come out. Scorpio is showing here as well. So whomever these people are. He had a one night stand with his best friend's mate. That is coming out again. Scorpio wanted to come out and watch your surroundings. Watch your surroundings. Scorpio wants to come out. So I gather that Scorpio is in here. It is a friend that's hating on your glow up. They don't like you for no reason. They keep wanting to come out. And stability is coming in. So, someone could have had a yeast infection. It's in reverse to do with chlamydia and syphilis and gonorrhea. Uh, they had sex in the car. This could be something that has happened in the past. Aries is upright. So, this could have been an Aries. Um, a friend hating on your glow up. So, that is quite natural. They called the police on, so someone got the police called on them as well. Someone don't like someone for no reason. They don't have any reason not to like you. They could just mind their business, stay in their lane. They don't like you because you got something they don't got. I don't care if it's unseen. It could be spiritually. They're mad. They don't like you. So just know that, collective. You're always going to have some people that don't like you. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles. This could be an earth sign. They are having dreams about you. This person is guarded. Could be quite flighty when it comes to their money. They're about their money. They're a Knight of Pentacles. Um, they are guarded or whatever. They guard themselves to protect themselves and just like focus on money. Um, they could snoop around like to different places they're in and out of doors i know that um uh, this knight of pentacles focus a lot on their stability and money um they still could be going through different situations they have lessons that they have to learn or whatever they're younger than you are or whatever um could be quite immature sometimes when it comes to money a person that like to be kind of flashy they're gonna work hard or whatever but they're gonna work your ass as well and take all the stability of uh, a uh, uh, knight of pentacles or uh, whatever uh, they're not just the the best thing to deal with we don't you know we want to we want graduated um that have matured and you know not saying that it's all bad it's there to teach you lessons this person could be a person that focus a lot on money, a knight of cups, and a king of wands. So he have met a new person at a bar. Okay, so this could be a whatever um, a king of wands, a passionate uh, someone that he probably had got emotions for, or on the outer surface he liked what he see. It could be quite lusty, uh, knight of cups, and a king of wands. A passionate leader or whatever or working their way this is how they act in the physical like a king like they're passionate about their work their job passionate about you passionate about uh, you know just life in general they sit on the throne this is how they present themselves is what I'm getting or whatever this knight of cups is a person that will knock your boots or whatever and on to the next one. This person will offer you a cup and reach and grab it and snatch it back and be on to the next person or whatever. This person is passionate about the things that they do and passionate about, you know, things that look good on the physical plane or whatever. You know, they don't too much just have their emotions intact like that or whatever but it can look as though they do and that's who this person is or whatever um but it could be also a queen that's i mean a king that's a fire sign or whatever that's watching you as well looking at you passionately could want to come in but only wanted to come in for sex um you know they wear their emotions on their sleeves or whatever. They're passionate about the things, their work, their, their home life, everything around them. 
and you know they're real fiery and they will you know speak their mind like real passionately they will come towards you passionately like you know with a little bit of emotions but it'll only be outer surface like things on the outer surface arouse them um they want to have sex with you i'm telling you telling you guys sex sex is on someone's mind they want it with you they want it they want this yes this could be a person that do want to offer ace of cups you know that you know could have been in and out that didn't know whether if they were passionate about you uh as far as having sex or they really want to offer you something but this person could be quite selfish at times and they focus on money a lot four of pentacles they're going to take all the money and, and hold on to it very tight this is not a person that like to share they want it all they want it all they want their third eye could be opening up to what they have been doing and that's being stingy or whatever with their pinnacles but they love having sex and they want to have sex with you they got their eye on you and their emotions are flourishing they ace of cups they want to offer you know they could have been in the dark or could have been unblind when they met you but now they see this as long term it's best to stay single and to your heel Okay, someone is watching you, Ten of Pentacles. They're watching you for your stability. They could want your stability. They could want to be with you for stability. They could want you to help them gain Pentacles. But you could be moving slow, or this person could be moving quite slow. Knight of Swords. So someone is cutty, and whoever this is, um, they're about abundance or whatever and money. This person, you know, even, yes, they're about your money, though. Um, but, okay, this is not, okay, it could be a Taurus, Ace of, because this King of Swords, I mean, this Knight of Swords, this passionate, uh, will cut you high and low, will speak their truth. They've been enlightened by something. They're very flighty and cutty. They will tell you what it is. They will tell you what foot to get on and off. They don't like to play any games. They, If you are playing games with them, they are on to the next person. They will tell you how they feel. And right now, he don't like having sex with this person because it, their vagina is smelling. This person has spoken this to them or they're about to. And it's going to cut them like a double-edged sword. Whoever the, This person is quite immature about information and the way they deliver their messages or how they you know, may communicate to you. So this is going to be cutty, whoever this is, if their vagina is smelling. He don't like to have sex. A Taurus that is focused on their abundance, uh, Ace of Pentacles. It's a Taurus that someone could want your abundance. Someone uh, consider you as slow and want to take your abundance, Taurus, is what I'm getting as well. They think that you're slow and you don't know what they're doing and they're being like sneaky little rats. They could just have you around them just to take your pinnacles. They could befriend you just to take your pinnacles or your abundance or to see what, uh, how you operate, how you move, what you're doing. So they could secretly take it. Yes, the devil wanted to come out. This person don't know how to love. Therefore, out of surface things, uh, whatever, sex is all... Someone stuck, he had a one night stand um, with someone's mate or whatever. Like, this could be vice versa. This could be a person that you know, that the person that you were connected to had sex with, a person that you know, and now they're feeling stuck. Eight of Swords, they're feeling, they thought that you were blinded to this situation, but you knew who this person was. You knew what they, that they slept with prostitutes or whatever. Yes. Watch your surroundings. It's, the tower is going to come to shake something up due to the surroundings. This could have been people that's been taking your abundance or taking your kindness for weakness. Felt that you were slow. Felt that you didn't know or whatever. Uh, it could be a Scorpio that did this but uh, now want to work with you or could be uh, they feel that they have emotions for you 
up there. It could be that they feel that you're selfish, you're stingy, you don't want to help them or whatever. You don't want to give any more abundance like to help this person, this Scorpio or whatever. They're in contemplation uh, uh, thinking about this matter. They could want to communicate with you over the Internet. Someone could be quite immature, quite young, quite uh, moody. One moment they want to speak to you, one moment they don't. They could be getting mad that they're going to have a judgment call. Someone, the Hierophant's going to speak up about two of Pentacles, or this person could be coming towards you, or it could be a, ta uh, a tower due to how imbalanced it have been of people taken, and this is going to be speaking of or spoken of, or now this person knows that you're standing in your power and you're not going to... Uh, uh, help them gain pinnacles to be way up here and you're down here or they're trying to look at you in that manner to a pinnacles but they want your work want your abundance want your stuff to look high and mighty but it's in balance and you're not going for it you're speaking on it and removing your energy stability is coming this card keep coming out okay if you have been working real hard Three of Pentacles for your, you've been enlightened, you're in hermit mode. Someone could want to work with you. Someone could be shedding light on this situation, like that you worked and a lot of people just took, 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 took a lot of your work and they gained Pentacles off of it and you didn't or whatever, you know, see how you were working and Pentacles was up over the top of your head and in your hand. Three of Pentacles or whatever, the hermit is here and is helping you be enlightened and giving, uh, putting you on the right road path to go down to get your stability. And whatever you gave out is going to come back to you is what I'm getting. They don't like you for no reason. So it's some people that don't like you for no reason. It could be in your community or be around you or be in a group setting or be in a work setting or whatever. These people are stuck on you or whatever, watching you two of swords. They uh, think that you're blinded to what they're doing. They're thinking you're blinded to knowing that they're thieves and that they don't like you for no reason or whatever. They could want you to be in the cold, don't want you to progress or whatever. And um, for them wanting you to be stuck, these people could be spiritually blind. That's the reason why they look at you and hate you for the work that you do or something that you put out or the light that you shed on dark situations. These people could hate it. They don't like it because this is what you do. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, lovers. And then you're going to have someone that, like, even though people don't love you, I mean, don't like you for no reason, the lovers or whatever, like, you got a lot of people that do, or and you have a lover that is coming in that love you, that want a new beginning. This is a chair. It could be a cancer. I don't know, but it's some type of water sign. They want a new beginning with you. You're going to go down another road path to get to your Ten of Pentacles or whatever. Yeah, because people have been taking yours and leaving you empty. They're going to feel sorrowful. That's what this tower is going to be about because they're not going to have any emotional help, spiritual help. And you're going to go on about your business. You're going to see the light, the sun. You're going to be happy working on your abundance and people wanted to take your abundance and you're not going to let them this card keep wanting to come out you are hard at work and these people are sneaking around snooping around they want your work they want you know to eat off of your plate and not give you anything they want you to be empty they want you to be out in the cold they don't want you to be recognized they don't want you to be seen but you have a lover, you're going to have a connection and stability that come in. And that's because these people did not want this for you. You're going to come into union because the four of wands tried to come out. You're going to come into a partnership and union with someone that loves you. And <clears throat> you're going to move on to your, yeah, could be a soulmate or it could be someone from your past that's watching you. 
Uh, they want things to go back to how it was in the past. They want a wish fulfillment with you. They want a home life with you. They want to work with you. The twin flame card kept on to come out. So people are going to get their wish fulfillment. If you were on the end of the septic tank and people were being deceptive, stealing, cheating, and manipulating or whatever, like your harvest is about to come in and you're going to love it because you're going to get a wish fulfillment in your home life and your stability. Your pet's going to be good. Your kids, you're going to have new beginnings. Money is going to be flowing or whatever. And these people, and you're going to be glowing and it's going to be showing. And they're going to be mad and going to be knowing that they are the reason for your glow up. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm telling you, you could decide that you're happy, single, working by yourself, gaining your pinnacles, seeing the light, seeing the sun. You're in the light and in the sun. You're going to be focusing on nature, just uh, gaining pinnacles and gaining stability. It's going to be a justice in this matter. Whoever did all of this that they did, you're going to be happy. We're going to be happy. These people who were accumulating these third party situations is going to be sad because you're going to have a victory and cut them out. You're going to cut this out, giving them abundance and the heartbreak is going to be with them. And you're going to stand in your power and be passionately. These people are going to feel sorrowful and heartbroken. And when your energy re be removed or whatever, they're going to be sick. They're going to have a heartbreak. You're going to have a victory. They're going to be looking for your energy and your work and your help. And it's not going to be there for them to take, snoop, steal, compete, lie, cheat, dislike, fight, dislike, fight, hinder, come against you. They're not going to be able to. It's been imbalanced and people have been selfish. And now they think that you're being selfish and you don't want to give to them. And you're not going to. You're going to use it all for yourself and you're going to be abundant and well off. The backstabbings and all of that is going to come to a head. And people are going to be mad because you're going to be moving on and growing and showing and everyone's going to be knowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Collective reading. Collective reading. That's what that was, y'all. If you don't mind, if you like and subscribe to my channel. Again, I have some new things coming out. You guys are uh, cancer had sex with someone else besides you. So if you were wondering if this cancer is they're not even like it's not even the person that they're with they're they're jealous of your new relationship someone is jealous of your new relationship this could be the cancer that slept with someone else now they're jealous because you're going to go on about your business and not be with them yeah someone had a one night stand you could have a drink but don't get dr drunk drunkard they don't love them or you. They're narcissistic. So this person could be a person that don't love the person they're with or you. They're narcissistic. This person can have whole ass kids by this person and not love them. It's out of surface for them. That's the love that they gain and that they have. It's a water uh, fire sign that's playing you to the left. She's a prostitute. So is a prostitute. They are a con artist and lying. His friends know that he's a narcissist. They are using them for sex. Someone is with someone only for sex, y'all. So, make that understood. Make that known. They're not even with them for a good reason. It's not for love or anything. They're lying. And if they're pretending that they... And some people stay in those kind of connections because they get to do what they want. And they don't be challenged or whatever. They're weak men or women. And they like to be able to just do whatever they want, whenever they want. 
And so, and these people allow them to do it. So they usually end up staying with that person. Someone wants to offer you a cup of love, though. This could be a water sign. That's boo, king of cups is on the bottom of the deck and they want to take action. They may have had you. It could be a third party situation. They want to take action because they have someone else. They want to take action because they feel that they would be abundant with you, but you are guarded. And uh, they could be jealous of going to be jealous in the near future because you are a queen of swords and you're guarded towards your abundance and everything. You're going to cut people like a double-edged sword. They could be jealous. They're going to be jealous of a relationship that you're going to be in. This could be karmics or the masculine or people around you or jealous hearted women or jealous hearted men. They don't love them or you. They're narcissistic. Okay, this one challenges. Yeah, this is hard for this person to get with someone for longevity or to be persistent or consistency to have a, a long-term relationship. And if they do, you know, they manipulate these people really bad or whatever. It's seven of ones. It's challenging because, you know, this person is narcissistic and pretending or whatever. And after so long, they're not going to be able to pretend anymore. Uh, they're going to be passionately exposed because they're not going to be able to keep their crap together. Or whatever it's going to show that they are someone is in isolation from a fire sign playing you to the left and you're coming up with a resolution you're taking this as a loss and you have you're in determination to get this person out of your energy fully it's angel of the past a judgment call and you being it sent you into isolation to do what could be a fire sign or whatever but you're determined to let this go and not deal with people, other people in the near future that's like this isolation. They could have left you out in the cold or whatever. You were going through a real hard, long, hard time with money and all of that. And you were left out in the cold. You could have had kids or whatever. You took this as a loss and you came up with a resolution to move forward and heal yourself. And now you're better. Okay, this... She's a prostitute. This this person put you in a third party situation. You could have been their lover or they seen you as their lover or whatever. Angel of commitment. Someone wants to commit to someone, but they got you in a third party situation. Someone is with someone and they were a prostitute, but this person is still with them. This person could have had a baby by this person, but it's a third party situation. Or whatever but they could love you as well want to offer you a cup but this is a third party situation they see you as their lover and want to commit to you but they are in another connection and they want it like polygamy like type yeah this could be a cancer or a water sign they're con, con artist and lying or whatever um they could want a new beginning with you in regarding to your abundance but you're guarded this could be a past person and the person that's coming here in the near future. His friend is his friend knows he's narcissistic. So someone's friend knows that they're narcissistic. Who is this? Someone's friend knows that. This could be a water sign, a fire sign, an earth sign, someone that's in leadership, someone that um, wants to come back in and pretend that they're being generous, someone that you put a death to, someone that is now in love with you that wants to offer a cup. They see you as a star. They are healing. They see you. They have hope in this situation and they want to support you is what I'm getting or whatever. They want to work on their spirituality. They could be quite younger than you. Or whatever, but they're in preparation to come towards you, or whatever. Um, Nine of Pentacles, they see you working on your abundance, getting 
uh, comfortable in your abundance for longevity. They want to come in and be generous or they look at you as generous. They look at you as a leader, but you put a depth to the situation, the connection that you have with them. And now they're seeing you as they love you. They see you as a star and that you're healing and they want to support your wishes now. So this person could be trying to let you know that, but it could be just for money reasons or something. I don't know if this person is really serious or not. So you have to watch that. I didn't read on that. But if you would like a reading from me, if you would email me at peachpollard at gmail.com, you can get a reading for this matter, for this situation. And so, guys. That's, this is all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys are, again, I stay being prosperous, loving yourself, not letting people cheat you, lie to you, steal from you. And if they do what you do, let them have it because it's going to come right back on them. They're going to get cheated from, lied from, taken from. And they're going to wonder why. They're going to remember you. And they're going to be through. Like, damn, she said it. She said it. Okay, what? Woo! Damn, they are alive and they're married. It's a Jezebel spirit. This journey is hard. Much love, 611. They feel comfortable in their relationship because they get to cheat. I told y'all, Twin Flame live in another state as you, Jezebel Spirit. Someone is pregnant one to three months. Leo, a Leo that like you. Baby, forgive me, 9-11. So someone wants you to forgive them, 9-11. And they're doing the most. It's a Jezebel Spirit. They could have someone pregnant. You're going to find out that someone is pregnant. Um, someone is staying in that connection because they are getting moolah. They are getting taken care of. So you just got to let them be. In the near future, you will see what it do, what it do, what it do. Because their dreams really ain't going to come true. Because their dreams really ain't going to come true. They be acting all lovey-dovey and brand new. Knowing that they don't want... Knowing that they don't want... Want the person they're with and they want to come through. Okay, let me recognize the problem so I can solve, it can be solved. A sense of separation from God is the only lack you will need to.